I'm about to show you a clip. This coach prime Deion Sanders, and he is uh, speaking on how he wants to see his athletes benefit from the new name, image, and likeness rules that the NCAA is rolling out with. Uh, so let's jump right into this video. I like it. I want to lift it. I got to lift it. It's got to be lifted. It's got to be lifted, Sam. That looks good, man. I got to look at the other one, man. I've never... It's the same one, except that one doesn't have the track pad. Yeah, but... Good. Good. Yeah. No, I ain't never drawn no red, man. Hey. What's the difference? Safe drop. Okay. Trail ball. The uh, Chevy Silverado trail ball. Right. The only thing would would make me happier is that we pass this rule, we pass this law where the kids are compensated for their likeness, and then we have the whole offense and defensive line with pickup trucks, endorsements. The only thing that make me happy, it's gonna happen. Jackson, Mississippi, it's gonna happen. D.I. Love, Jackson State, it's gonna happen. You gotta believe, you gotta believe, you gotta believe that the whole darn offense and defensive lines could have a pickup truck as an endorsement. I believe. But what we see and what we can anticipate is college athletes being able to monetize off of their name, image, and likeness with things just like that, uh, with a Chevy pickup truck, maybe the whole offensive and defensive line. So I think these are uh, things that we we as players should be thinking about and how we want to leverage our own brand so that we can take advantage of these type of opportunities and put ourselves in that light with auto dealerships that are local to our market and that are looking for that athlete that stands out, that, that is a leader and is a good representation of his community and a particular brand like a Chevrolet dealership, like a Ford dealership. So for the players, I look forward to seeing you guys monetize off of your name, image, and likeness by branding yourselves properly.